Hello and welcome to another episode of Ask the Experts. I'm Rachel Landry and today we'll be talking about how to export data from Global Mapper. And we will be starting by looking at my screen where you can see that I have some data loaded and we will go through how you can export this. So you'll navigate to the file menu, which is in the upper left hand corner of Global Mapper and you'll run your mouse down to export. And when you get to export, a new uh, menu file will open and you can see all the different types of exports that you can perform. So you could export a Global Mapper mobile package file, you could export a Global Mapper package file, a PDF file, um, 3D formats, elevation grid formats, raster vector, LiDAR, web, basically whatever you can think of exporting in, you can do it. Um, I like to say that exporting from Global Mapper is almost as simple as importing data into Global Mapper because I love our handy dandy drag and drop feature, but that's a different video. Um, so today we'll just click on the raster formats and you can see that we have a lot of different file formats that we can export in just for simplicity, we're going to export to a JPEG um, and we'll hit OK. And so with this image, there's actually more data here than is shown on my screen. So because it's a larger image file, I'm going to draw a box for the export bound so that we don't have as much data to load because sometimes it can take a, a little bit to export that data. Um, so let's just draw a quick box here on the area that I want to share and we'll hit OK and then we'll hit OK again. And we can save this in our file directory. Now I have this going to my desktop because I usually save files there because it's easier to find them. Uh, let's call this Hallowell Overlook. And then we hit save and Global Mapper is going to start to do its thing. So it looks like this is going to take a minute here to download. But once this has officially downloaded or exported from Global Mapper, you'll be able to find this in the file directory where you saved the image or map that you have. So that is how you export from Global Mapper. And if you're interested to see a full list of the file types that you can import and export into Global Mapper, please visit our knowledge base, which will be linked below in the description of this video. So thank you so much for joining me today for this episode of Ask the Experts, and I hope that you'll join us next time. Thank you so much.